This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see me analyzing that data. But like I tell you every day, the data they released us is false. It meant to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, one thing about the retail investor community is we're filled with a lot of intelligent people from a lot of different backgrounds. I mean, and not just in the United States, but all over the world, the retail investors are not the dumb money that these criminals try to, you know, advertise us to be. There are a lot of very intelligent people in the retail community who have invested their money in AMC and sometimes they come up with some great ideas. Here's a guy named Steven. And on YouTube, it's Never Finance Advice. That's his YouTube. And he also is on Twitter. It's NFA on YouTube. That's his Twitter. Please follow this guy. He sent me an email yesterday. And in the email, he suggested that we form a non-profit shareholder union and I I don't know about the legality of it I'd have to do more research but it makes a lot of sense if uh, could you imagine 10 million 20 million retail investors getting together and forming a union or an organization. Do you know what kind of voting block that is? Do you know how many politicians would listen to what we had to say? I mean, this is a very great idea. I know it requires more research. It requires more legal research. As far as putting it together and organizing it, but I believe personally, it is a great idea because it would make us one voice. It would make us very powerful. We would, we would be like a voting block, like the Teamsters, like the PBA. I mean, it would change the dynamics of the retail investor market. It, it would change the stock market. It would really change the stock market if retail investors got together and formed an organization where they had one voice and they could take that voice as a voting block and put it behind politics.